Michael Walzek has been a property owner for about four years. And there is just something satisfying about being a property owner. Um, it's my little castle, I guess you could say. Michael moved to Las Cruces from Michigan several years ago to start a new career. He lived in an apartment first, then moved to his current house in Sonoma Ranch. He lives in the newer part of the city on the East Mesa, one place where impact fees have been proposed on any new development. Well, here at City Hall, the City Council voted to defer those impact fees until July 1st. Councilor Sorg? Yes. Councilor Thomas? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Fourteen. Michael doesn't oppose the idea of impact fees, but he agrees with the council's recent decision. I understand the, the need for civic improvements and, and, um, and those sorts of things, but with this economy the way it is right now, uh, those type of fees could really be detrimental to some. Some, like Stephen Shavita, managing director of the Las Cruces Home Builders Association, he's pleased with the council's decision. We still have uh, a lot of work that needs to be done and some new work that came out based on the discussions that they were having, but I think we met our objective. For a new residential house, the fee would be around a thousand dollars or closer to two thousand depending on who you ask. The number was thrown out there at a thousand fifty. It's actually seventeen hundred dollars is that initial impact fee. But when you add the permit fees and the other impact fees that are already in place along with the um, such as the, the um, uh, security and uh, uh, safety impact fee um, as well as all those other impact fees that are potential that are that we're fighting against right now um, the bottom line of a home is impacted significantly the impact fee would also have applied to new commercial development it's also the the business community and so that's why i think it was um, we, we took a big stride today in, in the, the growth of our community. Public Works Director Loretta Reyes is in charge of around $85 million in proposed projects. Not all of them will be built, but she says it's going to be a busy six months while her department reworks the fees. We're going to be looking um, at those fees and at the projects on the list to determine how we're going to be able to fund those projects, how we're going to be able to build uh, those projects, also, we're probably going to have to focus on including our stakeholders in this process as well, perhaps speaking with the Home Builders Association and the Las Cruces uh, Realtors Association as well. Impact fees are common in larger western U.S. cities, less so in cities smaller than Las Cruces. The idea can be murky because a person can move from one house to a new one in the same city and be charged the fee while another person can move from across the country into a previously owned home and not have to pay the fee at all. But density and location all come into factor. Just a few more things Loretta Reyes and her staff will be busy with until July. I think speaking with our manager, with the city manager and with the assistant city manager, I think we can develop a plan that we can, we can reach our, our goal and our deadline of July 1st. After renting for about two years, I decided that I really liked it here and I saw a future and I, I wanted something. I didn't, I, I felt I was wasting by just putting in rent. Sloan Patton, CARE WG News.